Guy Laliberté, OCCQ is a Canadian billionaire businessman and poker player. Along with Giles St. Croix, he is the co-founder of Cirque du Soleil. In January 2018, Laliberté was ranked by Forbes as the 11th wealthiest Canadian. In 1984, Laliberté founded Cirque du Soleil. The Canadian circus company shows have since been seen by more than 90 million people worldwide. Before founding the company, he had busked, performing as an accordion player, stiltwalker and fire eater. In 2006, he was named the Ernst & Young Canadian Entrepreneur of the Year. In 2007, he was named Ernst & Young World Entrepreneur of the Year. Early years Laliberté was born in 1959 in Quebec City, Quebec, Canada. His interest in show business began when his parents took him to watch the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus, an experience which led him to read the biography of P. T. Barnum. While he was still in school, he produced several performing arts events. After school, Laliberté left Canada to hitchhike around Europe at the age of 18. While traveling, he made money by playing the accordion. He also learned fire eating and stilt walking during his time abroad, and after returning to Canada, became a street performer on the streets of Quebec. Laliberté joined a performing troupe called Les Achissiers, which included fire breathers, jugglers, and acrobats who hitchhiked around the country to shows. He later returned to Quebec, where he obtained a full time job at a hydroelectric dam. However, soon after his employment began, the company's employees went on strike. Laliberté took the opportunity to return to his life as a street performer. In 1980, he ran as a Rhinoceros Party candidate for the electoral district of Charlevoix in the 1980 federal election. Career Cirque du Soleil Laliberté co-founded Cirque du Soleil in 1984 with Giles St. Croix and a small group of colleagues. The group obtained the support of a government grant for the celebration of the 450th anniversary of Jacques Cartier's discovery of Canada. Cirque du Soleil was originally set up as a one-year project. However, the government of Quebec wanted a touring event that would perform in other provinces. The name, Cirque du Soleil, which Laliberté came up with while he was in Hawaii, reflects his notion that, the sun stands for energy and youth, and that the circus is about those two words. Cirque du Soleil now has activities on five continents. Its shows employ approximately 4,000 people from over 40 countries and generate an estimated annual revenue exceeding US$810 million. In 2015 he sold 90% of his stock in the company. On February 17, 2020, he sold the remaining 10% to Caisse de Depot et Placement du Québec. Poker career Laliberté started playing super high-stakes online cash games and live tournaments for recreation around 2006. In April 2007, he finished fourth in the World Poker Tour Season 5 event at Bellagio in Las Vegas and won $696,220. He also played on GSN's high-stakes poker Season 4 show and took part in Poker After Dark Season 4 alongside Tom Dwan and Phil Helmuth. He was also known for frequenting the highest stakes games on Full Tilt Poker. In 2011 Laliberté announced the big one, a $1 million buy-in tournament which was featured at the 2012 World Series of Poker. Part of the prize money was donated to Laliberté's philanthropic organization One Drop Foundation, which primary goal is to provide clean drinking water and hygiene products around the globe. 48 players participated in the tournament and Antonio Esfandiari won the $18,346,673 first place prize. The tournament raised $5,333,328 for the One Drop Foundation. Laliberté has lost the most amount of money on online poker cash games. Over his six accounts, Notema, Patadino, Lady Marmalade, El Mariachimacho, Esvedra and Zyphorin, Laliberté has lost approximately US$31 million. Spaceflight In September 2009, Laliberté became the first Canadian space tourist. His spaceflight was dedicated to raising awareness on water issues facing humankind. The event was accompanied by a 120-minute webcast program featuring various artistic performances in 14 cities on five continents, including the International Space Station. In May 2020, Canada's Federal Court of Appeals ruled that his trip should be considered primarily personal, and not work-related, and directed that income tax be assessed on 90% of the cost of the trip. The cost of the spaceflight was $41,816,954. In June 2011, Laliberté published a book, entitled Gaia, containing photos of Earth from his spaceflight. Proceeds from his book were to go to the One Drop Foundation. Atoll of Nukatepipi in 2007, Laliberté became the owner of the Atoll of Nukatepipi in the French Polynesia. In May 2014, Laliberté told the Journal de Montreal that he wanted to make the Atoll a shelter that could accommodate his family and friends in the event of a global catastrophe. Because of all that's happening in the world, I said to myself, that could be the place where, in case of an epidemic or a total war, I could bring people I like and my family so that we'd be protected. It will be completely autonomous in terms of operation, solar, environmental, ecologic, all that. 
On 13 November 2019, following his arrest for cannabis cultivation, Laliberté's investment firm Loon Rouge stated that, Laliberté is being questioned in respect of cultivation of cannabis for his personal use only at the residence on the island of Nukatepipi in Tahiti. Awards and honours in 1997, Laliberté received the National Order of Quebec, the highest distinction awarded by the Government of Quebec. In 2001, he was named a Great Montrealer by the Académie des Grands Montréalais. In 2003, he was honoured by the Condé Nast Group as part of the Never Follow program, a tribute to creators and innovators. In 2004, he received the Order of Canada, the highest distinction in the country, from the Governor-General of Canada. The same year, he was recognised by Time magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. In 2006, Laliberté won the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award for all three levels, Quebec, Canada and International. In 2007, he was named Ernst & Young World Entrepreneur of the Year. Université Laval awarded him an honorary doctorate in 2008. On the 22nd of November 2010, he and Cirque du Soleil were honored with the 2424th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Personal life Laliberté's son Cami is a racing driver competing in the European Junior Formulae. He recorded one race victory in F4 but has no record of racing after 2017. His daughter Naima is a competitive dressage rider.